Hello, my beautiful Scorpios. Elsie here to give you a reading for the weekend, possibly over the next 48, depending on what timeline you're on, and I don't know what that is. So I'm just here to throw some cards to give you as much information. If this might be your situation, let me know down below. I would love to hear if you can divulge any information. And if not, just let me, give me a heart or a, an emoji of some sort or a thumbs up. Let me know you're here. Share your energy with me. All right, Scorpio, here we go. This is possibly for the next 48, but definitely over the weekend. All right, sun, moon, rising, Venus and Jupiter. Tell us about what's coming up for Scorpio. Ooh, thank you. All right, a partnership in reverse. Three of Pentacles. Taking your eye off the prize. Someone's no longer on your team, Scorpio. All right. We have... Well, I think it was this way. I don't know. Cards are in reverse all the time. So we have uh, the King of Cups on the bottom of the deck. <clears throat> The king of love and emotion, the one that, uh, the one that is very serious on top, but underneath is tumultuous. Someone, maybe the king, is ready to speak. Someone is ready to bring some lies to the surface. Maybe that's why we're all in reverse here. Someone doesn't want to wait anymore. Even though this transformation is not yet complete and this thing has not yet come to an end, somebody no longer wants to wait. The seeds of intention, I feel, have been dropped by someone else for this, for you, Scorpio, or you've dropped the seeds of intention for another. I feel as though this, um, uh, this nine of coins tells me that you could be, um, and the seven of coins tells me that maybe you could be um, in the middle of some sort of a financial impact because the three of pentacles has also uh, come up in the reverse. For me, this is the kind of the separation card. Separated, not yet divorced. And um, somebody doesn't want to wait anymore. So I feel as though you're tired of being connected to whoever you were connected to. For some of you, you willingly took the financial impact because you just need to end the cycle. You need this to come to an end and... I feel as though it starts with somebody, you know, not being on your team. The, the three of pentacles in the reverse for me is also financial impact, but it's financial impact on the job. So whatever's going on here, Scorpio could be impacting your place of work. For some of you, you've taken time off to get this stuff worked out until, until the cycle can either close or until the transformation is complete. I've got Scorpio energy here. Tell us more, please, for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter over the weekend or the next 48. We've got the Five of Pentacles in the reverse. We've got the Emperor on his head. Wow. Okay. All right, Scorpio, you could be an emperor. And I think this was in your reading that I did for you uh, yesterday, actually. Um, you came up in the reverse here. And um, I feel, oh boy. Ooh. So I feel here that a cycle is coming to an end. We should look under here too. Mm. Okay. So I feel like there is... Um, We've got the Queen of Wands in reverse because I feel like there is a cycle that is 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 about to close with this Queen of Wands. For for some of you, um, it is a an uh, an Aries, Sagittarius, or a Leo, or someone who is in that energy. It doesn't have to be feminine or masculine, but someone who is in that energy. I feel like you're tired of waiting to close the chapter with this person because they are on your last nerve. I don't always see the Emperor in reverse as someone who's you know, being mean and terrible and abusive. And I, I know that some of the readers like to call down the emperor in reverse, but honestly, I feel like the emperor is human like the rest of us. The only difference between the emperor and you is that it's all on the emperor. The emperor is making decisions for the empire. The queens and kings report to the emperor. So the kings and queens run their kingdoms, but they must check in with the emperor to make sure that everything is going to keep moving. Everybody has jobs. Everybody's eating. Whoever wants to work is working. 
I feel like this emperor is uh, experiencing separation and divorce. That's why he's coming up in the reverse. He's having to make decisions he doesn't want to make and off with their heads. So he's he's not he's no bullshit when he's in, <laughs> when he's in the reverse. He's not having it. And I feel like this energy of the Queen of Wands here is an energy that he's not having it with. He's like, I just want to close this, this cycle with you. I need to transform this energy. I'm tired of dealing with you in this selfish, self-serving, um, being reckless with who you give your passion to. I think that this is just more than the emperor can take. Yeah. Betrayal. Ego. Yeah. And I don't mean to, to, to crap on the empress either. I don't really feel as though there's anything terrible going on here. But y'all who have been through divorce, you know you're these people. You know you were these people. You weren't nice to the other person. The other person wasn't nice to you. It was 50% you and 50% them. You can slander your baby daddy, baby mama, all that you want. Say it was all their fault. But you know what? It takes two to tango. It does. But nonetheless, I feel like you two have to learn how to work together because we've got five and three, which is eight, right? You have to learn how to work together. And the eight of pentacles is in the reverse. You don't want to work with this person. You don't even want to look at them or be with them. Yeah, dear Scorpio, I think you've had enough. When the emperor goes in the reverse, I, I, I don't feel like it's for any other reason than you break him. It's like, okay, fine, you broke me. There you go. This is what you get now. Because the emperor, when he is in the reverse, is not... He's not, he's taking ass and kicking names or kick, kicking ass and taking names. <laughs> and, and he, he's no bullshit. Yeah. He's like, forget it. I'm not doing this with you anymore. I'm not putting any more work into this connection. Okay. So the emperor's healing. The emperor wants to heal, wants to heal and go on a new path in passion. But you understand that there's still a queen in the way here, right? I feel like this emperor felt as though this queen was the soulmate. I don't think they were. I fe this feels karmic to me. It feels as though, um, because soulmates would never do this to each other, right? A soulmate is, is a relationship that is easier than this. This is karmic relationship coming to an end. So, yeah, I feel like there's there these the five and the the three are in reverse. No one wants to work on it anymore. Eight of Pentacles in reverse, and um, I don't want to fight anymore. Yeah, five of Swords in reverse. I don't want to fight. No, I'm not going to talk to you. This is silent treatment. This is slamming doors. Yeah, I feel as though somebody went from the right fight always having to be right. Maybe it was you, Emperor. Maybe it was the Queen. But somebody went from always having to be right, the right fighter. I'm right. I'm right. Could be the Aries. In you, you could have Aries in your chart, but you don't have to. I feel as though after not working on this anymore and not wanting to fight about it, I feel like the Emperor needs to heal. Needs to heal before he can go on this path in passion to look for a new soulmate. Because I feel like he felt that this person was the soulmate, but I don't think they were. That's not what it feels like. It feels really, it feels really terrible, actually. It feels like really tough, angry energy. Yeah. And I'm not saying that the emperor is <clears throat> the one that's not at fault, but I'm also not saying that the queen is the one that's not at fault either. I think it's two people. Two people made this. Yeah, and I think it really gives the Emperor peace that there's no more communication between him and the Queen. Uh, we have the Nine of Swords in reverse. I feel like all of this was, all of this that was going on was keeping you, dear Emperor, Scorpio, if you're the Emperor. And who is the Emperor? Like I said, it's the person who's got it all on him. He's making decisions for the many, not the one. She's making decisions for the one, for self. Yeah. When she's in the reverse... Not necessarily doing the grade at, at being a boss or being a supervisor or whatever it is, whatever level. This person is mean to their employees. This person really is just working from ego. It's kind of like this person is the one that you're like, really? How did they get that job? Yeah, because they're terrible human. I feel like um, um, that I, I'm kind of being a little harder on the Queen of Wands because... Um, I feel as though this energy for me is is far more selfish than the emperor. I feel the emperor still has to do his job, still has to make decisions for the many. 
um, and will make fair decisions. But when he's in the reverse, he's distracted. He's not in a good mood. He's making decisions he doesn't want to make, but he really wants to put the focus here, but he can't. I feel like there was too much in the moon energy. I feel like what comes out in the moon energy. Uh, okay, so we've got the, the Knight of Cups. And the Knight of Cups is next to the, the lovers here. I feel like this, this emperor knew that it was going to go wrong. Because I feel like somebody offered the emperor a cup already. Yeah. But also, if this is truly the person the emperor thought was, if thought the queen was the, the soulmate, I feel like it was unrequited love. I feel like one of them called it off. Whoever went back to the other called it off and said, no, I'm done with this. I don't think it was expected. I think it was hiding in the moon energy. I don't think it was expected that things would uh, go as upside down as they did. Look at a lot of reverse cards here. We've got the wounded warrior on deck here in the future. Somebody has to heal. Yeah, the emperor is unable to make decisions because there's too much. He has to get over this nine of swords. We've got nine and nine and <clears throat> one is ten. This this king holds one sword, right? I feel like it's almost time for the cycle to close between these two, and not before they've damaged each other irreparably. Yeah, because I feel like when the Emperor is in reverse, he's damaging the reputation of the Queen of Wands. And when the Queen of Wands is in reverse, she's trying to damage the reputation of the Emperor. It's even Steven here. <laughs> yeah. And I also feel like it's time to go. So I feel like um, this king makes his decision and um, it is a head over heart decision. Um, it's illogical, but he knows that there's other things in this moon energy that are coming. All he wants is balance and he wants to go because he knows where the balance is. Let's clarify that moon energy here. And when I see um, the Page of Wands, it's like somebody's going on a new path in passion. So these two, I feel this is the separation um, between these two. Each one of them is going on their own path in passion. Tell me about this moon energy. Moon energy, please, here for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. So there is some information that comes forward in this dark energy. It comes forward super fast. Yep. Whatever is in the moon energy, that's Pisces and Cancer, whatever is it coming up in the moon energy, whatever's been hiding is coming to the surface and it's going to spread like wildfire. That the king or the queen is leaving. And I feel as though someone's made a decision Two, six of wands, got the eight of wands, communicate, six and two is eight. Someone wants to be seen and wants to communicate, could be you Scorpio, could be someone who wants to communicate with you, but either way, I feel like there is some fast moving communication coming. And um, <clears throat> it could be from someone who wants a long term relationship, or maybe you want it with them. Yeah, there's going to be a reunion here. But uh, I feel like the king or the queen are wor is worrying about this. Honestly, I think it's the, the emperor who's worrying about this connection. I feel like the emperor feels that somebody is going to hear some gossip or something that's coming out and worrying about it, not being able to sleep at night with the Nine of Swords. I want to have a reunion with somebody here. Uh, it could be someone who is uh, in Gemini energy. Um, Pisces, Cancer, Aries. Sagittarius Leo, Gemini Libra Aquarius. I feel like there is some some uh, some stuff that was hiding in the moon energy in the dark that um, this person didn't uh, this either the king, king or the queen didn't think was coming to light. But when it does, it's finally out. It gives balance, and then you can end the cycle because we here we have a cycle that's not quite ended yet. So I feel like there is somebody here, Scorpio, it could be you, could be your person. Somebody is um, looking at ending a marriage and currently it's in separation and not, not yet in divorce. I feel it was terrible. 
I feel like you could have been dealing with someone who wasn't quite acting in the way that you thought a queen would act, um, or a king for that matter. Yeah, I think I'm going to leave it here for now. I hope that was something that you wanted to hear. If this even is remotely close to what you were thinking, if this is you, please let me know below. And um, I'm going to go for now. If you're interested in a private reading, please look for the yellow dot. And uh, please go over to Wizio and book me there. I have four spaces available. I'm going to go for now. Love you guys. Have a great weekend. Bye-bye.